Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to be looking at the internals of Git. More specifically, what is inside of .git, the hidden directory that's in every single one of your Git repos. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're familiar with Git itself, but maybe you don't actually see what's happening in the background. So today we're just doing a brief overview and looking at a few things. We're starting off with bare bones, we're just in a plain directory. There's nothing initiated in this directory. We're going to create a watch over here on the side just so we can see what is happening. We'll do tree. I um, want to show all because we want the hidden directories and in the current directory. So just like that. So now when you create a file, let's print hi into the file hi. It shows right there that we have a file called hi. And let's remove that. Now git in it. Let's see what's happening. And there it took a second to display on the watch, but it has generated this git with its branches, config, description, head, hooks, info, objects, and refs. Um, it's going to get a little big and it'll be a little hard to view, but this is kind of the simplest way I could think of showing you guys um, for the time being. So let's create a file for the readme. We'll say hello world and we'll do readme. Uh, txt, I guess markdown, whatever. And you can see it was added. So now, you know, when you're in Git, you're going to want to actually add something. So let's go ahead and add it. We'll just do period. It's going to add the readme. And let's see over here if anything changes. There. Our objects was just created. I believe this exclude was just created as well. So let's go ahead and look at that exclude. So the exclude was created, but it's actually not excluding anything really. Um, other than it does know that it needs to exclude git, but it, or actually no, my, I misspoke. It's not excluding git, obviously. But this file is free to exclude things, and that was created. And here we have our objects, the 3b, and then this is a git. So we'll do git log. Oh, no commits yet. Okay. Git user Avery. Oh no. Git commit. Sorry, I do that for work. Um, initial commit. There. And as you can see, a little bit more, some more of this just changed. And right here, there's some logs. So we'll do git log, and there is the initial commit. And now let's just do slightly a little bit more. Let's just do test, and we'll say testing oh, file. And we'll do git add. test file and let's go back in there one two three abc add and let's do an amend we're not going to change that all right so now that's some basic stuff we can check out the log um, of course there's only two logs because i amended this last commit and let's jump into git itself and let's just kind of look at some of those things. So commit message. We can see the commit message is test file. If we hadn't done the amend, this actually wouldn't be there. Um, with amend, because as you can see, when it was pulled up there in Nano in my editor, it added this stuff. Um, before doing the amend, I guess I could have showed you it only had shown test file. And if we do right here, cat head, it's going to show which branch we're in. So if we were to create a new branch, Git checkout b test oh. switch to branch b so now we're in the test branch there it shows we're in the test branch there it shows we're back in the main branch and this is actually referring to something so let's go back in there There it is basically just saying the hash for the main branch and you can see the hash for the test branch as well. Um, and you can use these hashes to see where they are in the commit history. Here's the branch um, folder. I don't believe there's usually anything in there. And we knew off the bat when the git was generated that it had all these hooks. So if you wanted to work on more git hooks, you would add them into here. 
Um, same thing with the config. Uh, you can edit your config. Uh, you add things like your upstream, your maybe your user that you want to commit with. You can add this information in here. My bad. So we're cutting the index, and this index file is actually for um, the staging area, basically. In the actual object, it does have the commit change. So we can go ahead and do cat objects. Let's look at this commit, and right there. Of course, that's not readable at all. Um, it actually messed up my screen a little bit, which is kind of what I was pausing around for and cut around for a second. So to make this more readable, we're going to be using something called zlibflate. And this tool uh, is basically just a tool for uncompressing what is in that file. And oh, I'm in that directory, objects. And let's just do one of these, e4. OK, so here is the testing file, abc123. And we'll just do 7c, just to check that out. And there is some information about my initial commit. So every single one of these is about a commit or something that's happening and it's just compressed. If it was, of course, on a huge project over time, it's going to end up taking a lot of space. And let's go into our logs. Let's, uh, I can see the logs over here. So I believe the head log is actually going to have all the same information. But if you go into the refs, it's going to have... It's going to have information about each single uh, individual branch that's going on. And as you can see, it keeps track of a lot of stuff. It has my initial commit, which I called initial commit, but it already knows it's initial. Here's just a regular commit. Here's an amend. It points out that it's an amend. And basically all these references are pointing to where they are in the objects, um, what trees, what branches they're pointing towards, and things like that. Um, there's a lot more that goes on. I just thought... You know, maybe someone would like to learn a little bit more about the internals, what's happening in the .git directory. So hopefully this video has found useful. Um, go ahead and pick a bigger project or a project you're working on and try to explore it yourself. See you guys again next time. Goodbye.